Hey, what's happening everybody? Ben Daniel over here. Welcome to my channel on fragrance reviews and I hope everybody's doing well, keeping well, staying strong, staying healthy and smelling good. So today, this is it. I am doing this video long overdue after five years. The reason I say five years is because of these two fragrances. Now, if you haven't watched my previous older videos that I did back in 2019, I dropped a couple of videos talking about Fragrance World, my first pickups from Fragrance World and Paris Corner before even Latafa came on the scene, before Maison Alhambra came on the scene. And I don't know, maybe I was one of the first Indian-based fragrance reviewers to talk about Fragrance World right here in the Indian market before there was a whole bunch of resellers and distributors. And back then in June 2019, I dropped a video talking about these two fragrances. And that's the first time that I introduced these fragrances on uh, YouTube. I guess there were other reviewers. And based on what I had seen or heard, I decided to get these two as a blind buy. So I am doing this review five years later because there was a lot of comments. One of my most viewed videos ever on my channel over here and a lot of people saying they wanted an in-depth review so I kind of put it away put it aside for so many years so I'm back over here again talking about these two amazing hardcore beautiful gems from the house of fragrance world they don't make stuff like this anymore in fragrance world I mean there's a there's lots of good things out there from fragrance world but nothing compares to the classics over here that came out about five six years ago so we all know this one, Mocha Wood, and this one, Green Sapphire. So I got these back, I remember, I think it was around April or May 2019, and I dropped that video in June 2019, so I'm celebrating five years of having these two bottles over here. And you can check out by the juice level of Mocha Wood. I haven't used it much. So this has been sitting in my cabinet in my storage for the past five years. I've used it a little bit, I think, uh, about a year ago, about two and two years ago, and I put it aside because the reason is I did not want to get another backup bottle because this itself was just too good, and maybe I should have. This is the first batch of Fragrance World Mocha Wood, first batch of Fragrance World Grease of Fire. I think they still have them in circulation. When I was in Fragrance World store back in Dubai, in Dera, Dubai, back in January, I checked out Mocha Wood and Green Sapphire. They had the 2023 batch over there. So this is the 20, I think 2018 or 2019 batch. I think most probably the 2019 batch. I don't have uh, the box for this. And when I dropped that video, I got a lot of comments by people saying that, wow, this sounds so good. I'm sure it's going to perform really well. And I told them both of them were beast over there for me, just brand new releases. And a lot of people commented they were going to pick it up, and they did. And when they got it, they were saying, thanks a lot for dropping a, a quick take on it. It wasn't an in-depth review, but it was just a quick take of what my fragrance will pick up, pickups were. And they said that this was the best. So this is it. Today I'm going to talk about this and what these fragrances mean to me because I like to go back to the classics of the inspired by alternatives. I don't want to use the word clones anymore, C-L-O-N-E-S. I guess there's a lot of um, clamping down on videos talking about clone fragrances. This happened on Instagram last year and I guess YouTube is also clamping down or kind of like removing videos, not shutting down an entire channel but giving Cut kind of copyright and community strikes against YouTube creators and frag heads out there in the fragrance community talking about inspired by alternatives. So I'm going to be using those terms rather than using the clone terms as long as the bottle is not being copied. So this is it. I got Fragrance World Green Sapphire, Fragrance World Mocha Wood. I would say dealing with Fragrance World for the past five and a half years now because I had others before I got these that these are the best that Fragrance World ever, ever came up with. Think about Armoff, another Middle Eastern inspired by brand, or okay, fine, cloning company, right? When they came up with CD Nim, Club de Nude Intense Man, I know a lot of you just ran for that. Come on, there are a lot of flankers right now, but that will always be the best-selling, the most popular Armoff fragrance ever. To me, 
These two were the most popular ever. These sold out and people hyped up. It was only after about two years, some of the big names in the fragrance reviewing community right here on fragrance or right here on YouTube started talking about this. So I guess they were late to the game. <laughs> but okay, let's get into the review. Let's talk about Green Sapphire. I'll put this away for some time. Let's talk about this one here. Green Sapphire is a clone, or oh, okay, oops, inspired by version, alternative of Bodicea Green Sapphire. Now, some people have said that it is a good inspired version of Amouage Epic Man. I don't think so because the notes are totally different. And I have another inspired by version of Amouage Epic Man called Killer Oud Ethic, and I tried them too. They they smell totally different. So no, I would leave it at Green Sapphire. I don't know what Bodicea Green Sapphire smells like. It's raspberry, saffron, violet leaves, pine, cypriol, cashmere, cedar wood, vanilla, musk, moss, very light oud, and sandalwood. To my nose, Green Sapphire is musky, it's spicy, it's very herbal, it's very green, just by the bottle itself. It's powdery, it's woody, but not heavy on the oud. It's a beautiful summer, spring, all year round fragrance. And right now in the monsoon season, absolutely a must have. And if you can get it, I would, I would definitely recommend getting an older batch. I don't know what the newer ones. If you do have this, let me know, comparing it to the older and the newer batch. I've used quite a lot of it over here. So Green Sapphire, this is it. It's very pleasant, it's very lovely. It's very elegant on my skin, on my clothes, and longevity. I get seven and a, seven hours, yes, yeah, to about seven and a half hours, close to two hours of projection because of that beautiful, spicy, herbal, woody, cedar wood, vanilla, and that sandalwood mix. The raspberry, and, the raspberry and saffron, not so much, but I do get a lot of that pine and that cypriol and a lot of that cedar wood and vanilla coming out strong. So very classy, pleasant. Very elegant, lovely juice, versatile, very manly, and I guess it probably could be considered unisex too. So that's my take on Fragrance World Green Sapphire after a five-year break. So I should have done this a long time ago, so this is it. All right, let's get into this. The most popular to my nose and my personal opinion, if you have something else, it's a different take, fine. That's okay, I can understand but to my nose and my opinion, this is the most popular fragrance world fragrance ever. Mocha wood. It really took the fragrance world by storm. <laughs> what does it have? It has coffee. It's hazelnut. It's got saffron, tobacco, rose, tonka bean, sandalwood, fir, benzoin, oud. Very light oud. Let me just be very... Straight on that, you know, let me just emphasize on that. Very light, dude. And woodsy. I would say it's called guiac wood or guac wood. If I'm butchering that word, I'm sorry. But that's just woodsy to me. Fine. To my nose, and I said this before when I dropped my video five years ago talking about fragrance will pick up. So we're there. It's hardcore. It's sweet. And it's spicy. It is a very exquisite, formal, classy juice. Absolutely. This is very important. Listen up, fragrance. You got to take this. You got to have this juice in your fragrance collection. If there's anything you want to get from Fragrance World, make sure you get this. But I would recommend getting a much older batch. I don't know what the 2023, even the 2024 batches would be like. This is the 2019 batch over here. So I could say absolutely yes, beast mode. Two thumbs up. Together with my two big toes also too. <laughs> this is outstanding. It's an amazing blend. Everything in this fragrance is top notch. Performance, 10 out of 10. Longevity, 8 to 8.5 eight hours. Sometimes on my clothes, it stays for about 9 to 10 hours. Two and a half hours of projection. It is just amazing. Very exquisite, classy, elegant Power, hardcore, sweet, spicy. That coffee, that saffron, ooh, that tobacco, and that sandalwood, and that woodsy vibe. Together with the oud, the oud is not skanky. It's very light in the background. You're not going to get a lot of oud. This is not an oud-based fragrance. 
It is a hardcore sandalwood coffee hazelnut and a, and a, a bit of the tobacco with it. The tobacco is pretty dominant later on, but not oody at all. That's why to my nose, it's got that beautiful, amazing, clean, sweet, spicy vibe. That's it about mocha wood. I like it. It's my favorite fragrance from Fragrance World, even more than Green Sapphire, which is all year round. This one, yeah, I would say yes. Winter, fall, even right now in South India, we got the monsoon, but you can wear this all year round. I use a little bit of it during the hot, crazy summer we had about three months ago, and oh, I liked it very much. And I just put on some today, and easily eight to eight and a half hours from this batch, the older fuss batch. I don't know what's happening with the new batches. So to my nose, it's the best. So there you go. Kudos to Fragrance World for coming up with Mocha Wood, a popular, popular fragrance. That's it. So if you haven't checked out my older videos that I did, please go back. I left the description. I left the link in the description. Go out and check those videos out. My first pick up over here. And I'm glad to see a lot of fragrance reviewers talk about this, but they came a little bit late to the game. I saw a whole bunch of videos that came out last year talking about Mocha Wood, and I was like, where have you people been? This has been out for quite a long time. What, why, why? What's the delay? You know, <laughs> Maybe because of shipping, or you probably couldn't even procure it from another place, or probably get it from a different country. I don't know what the issue is, but I'm so glad that it was available right here when I picked it up back in 2019. So this is it. It's the only one I have. I'm not using much of it because I really want to keep this bottle. <laughs> I really don't want to use it all up and finish it. This one I like. This one, my favorite from Fragrance World. It is just absolutely must have. If you can get it, get it. All right. So that's it. That's my take on Fragrance World, Green Sapphire, Fragrance World, Mocha Wood. Have a great day ahead of you. Let me know which one you have. Let me know your take on it, your opinion, and what it is to your nose. Oh, yeah. Real quick, I didn't tell you, it is an inspired version of Boadicea, another Boadicea, the victorious hero. So you could check out the notes on Fragmentica. They match up over there. The coffee, the hazelnut, tobacco, the, the woodsy vibe, the sandalwood, the tonka bean. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing wear. Any time of the day, all year round, any age group, very manly, very masculine. I'm sure women can pull this off as a unisex fragrance. Okay, I'll see you when I see you. Take care and have a great day ahead of you. And I've got a lot more videos in the works. All right, take care, everybody. And check these two out if you haven't. Fragrance World, Mocha Wood, Green Sapphire. Bye-bye.